thank you so much for watching today. Today I have with me Alex um, Fisher with Thompson Burton. Alex is an attorney who works a lot with nurse practitioners, particularly when it comes to licensing issues and prescribing issues. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about how to find a job if you've had a problem with your license. What should you do? What should you not do? Um, fortunately, having a little bit of a red flag on your license um, can be overcome, but there's definitely a way to go about that. So first of all, what constitutes a red flag on a nurse practitioner's license? Um, that's a great question, Erin. Uh, there are a couple different things that can be kind of a red flag for employers when they're interviewing you. Um, one could be a criminal conviction. Uh, another could be uh, being terminated from a prior place of employment. Um, a third could be anything that's reported to the National Practitioner Data Bank. Uh, so that can include a medical malpractice settlement. Um, that can also include peer review discipline from a hospital. And finally, that can include discipline from a state board of nursing. Okay. So if you're applying for a job or if you're already employed, how would an employer notice any of these things on your license or in your background? Um, so when you're applying for a job, if your employer runs a background check, uh, that's the point at which they'll find out about any criminal convictions, possibly mm -hmm. in your past. Um, if your employer runs your name through the National Practitioner Data Bank, which most employers are going to do okay. probably, uh, that's when they'll find out about those things such as the discipline from a state board of nursing, uh, peer review issue, okay. uh, large medical malpractice settlement. Um, and finally, looking through your resume, a prospective employer may call previous places where you've worked, right. and in that scenario, find out that you've been terminated previously. Okay. So if you've had any of these problems with your license, your employment background, or even a criminal history, um, how what's the best method for going about finding another job um, and getting back into your practice? Uh, so this is one of those cases where, as most things in life, honesty is the best policy. Okay. Uh, so when you're applying for a job, filling out the application, uh, looking at every question, making mm -hmm. sure you're answering it truthfully. Okay. Um, if there's something large that you know that's going to come up, like for example, uh, current or prior discipline on your nursing license and you're being hired in a role as a nurse practitioner, um, disclose that in the interview in person. Don't wait until the person interviewing you goes back and later looks it up and finds out. Right. Uh, I really recommend being proactive, uh, disclosing to them, here's what happened, here's what I've done, uh, to mitigate the circumstances or change since then, here's how it's made me a better nurse practitioner. I keep it short and sweet. You don't need to go into a lot of details about anything, but as long as you're disclosing what happened, prospective employers want to know that they're hiring an honest employee. Right. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. I think that's really great advice. Um, the good news is, you know, if you've had some missteps in your past, you can't overcome them, but definitely do so um, in an honest and smart manner. So thank you so much. Thank you, Erin.